Hi, hello and welcome to Designer by Design. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create tables and render them in 10 different ways. All right, let's get started. There are many different ways to create a table. The easiest way is to go to the insert tab, click the table command, then mouse over the grid to select the number of cells you want. There are a few other options like insert table. When you select, he is going to ask the number of rows and columns you want to create. For this example, let me move over to the grid and select the cells needed. Even after creating the table, you have ways to add more columns or rows. Simply click on the last cell and click tab button for a new row. Or you may right click anywhere on the table to insert a row above or below or column to the left or right side from a selected cell. As like insert, he also provides options to delete rows or columns or even the table itself. You can also resize it if you need to. Just place your cursor on the edge, drag and then let go. To change the table color, select the table, select shape fill and select a color to paint. You may do so even for an individual cell by either choosing from menu or simply right click that shows the options including paint command. You may edit each cell with the required text and align them as you would usually do for any text. There are times when you want one column to be wider than the others. Use the slider between the cells to drag and if that doesn't work for you, go up to the layout menu and increase the width as necessary. When you need to combine multiple cells in a column, simply select all the cells, right click and choose merge cells. Likewise, if you want to break a cell into multiple cells, just right click and select split cells, choose the split options you want and then click OK. If you are an Excel spreadsheet expert, you have easy way to bring them over to PowerPoint. Just copy the table in Excel, come over to PowerPoint, paste it. It's as simple as that. Once the table is here, now you have all the choices to either resize the table or to increase the font size, change the header color and so on. If you are a person who is familiar making all formatting in Excel, but just wanted to bring your table to the presentation, then all you have to do is copy the table in Excel, come over to the PowerPoint, right click and paste as picture. Now you may resize the picture or even apply effects as you would do to any picture. You might ask, I don't want to make it as a picture, but still want to retain all the formatting. Well, while pasting in PowerPoint, select Keep Source Formatting. This retains all the formatting that you did in Excel. Now you have the option to edit or change the format or even repaint to another color of your choice. If you have used a lot of formulas in Excel, the previous options won't bring the expected values. Don't worry, if that's your case, all you have to do is, while pasting, select Embed Excel option. You would now see the table behaves like a picture, but the magic happens when you double click on the table. You get the whole Excel menu to work with. You can retain the formulas and write new ones too. I know, Excel users might be feeling Cloud9 now, wow. Once you are done editing, you may click anywhere outside the table to come down from the Excel clouds to your PowerPoint. Even insert table command has similar option to get you started with the Excel. From the insert table menu, just select Excel spreadsheet to get started with your Excel table right in PowerPoint. You may resize as much as you want to fit the display of your table. In this example, I'm going to show you how to format tables with financial data 
or you can say table with calculations. Select your table, open design tab. Here, PowerPoint provides a bunch of pre-formatted table designs to choose from. Click and select the design that best suits your table. If you click on the drop down menu, you can see all the pre-formatted designs in one go. Just hover over a design to see how your table would look like. This is an easy way to format the table quickly. For table like this in the example, where you need to highlight the title and the total at the bottom row, simply check the header row and total row checkboxes. If you want each row to be shown in alternate colors, just check banded rows checkbox. Similar option is available to make alternate columns as well. Just like how the header row was highlighted, the option is available even for the first column or the last column. When you have need to provide descriptions to your table, do so by adding another element to the slide. That could be some text such as critical analysis or it could be an infographic which explains the results of your table or it could be a chart. Whatever it may be, adding another element gives that sense of balance to your slide. Before jumping into this example, I want to share a few quick tips with you. When you have a table with uneven column widths, click distribute column command. In the same way, distribute row makes your rows with equal height. Another tip, when you have many many columns to accommodate, consider changing the column title text direction to vertical. All right. Now, coming back to this example, if you are someone who want to have your table look fancy, try removing the borders and replace it with a background image. To do that, select your table, head over to the design tab, click on the border command menu to see and choose which border line you need. You will see some crazy border options. Personally, I haven't had a situation to use diagonal border lines. But this is to show you that these options exist and you can make use of it. To add a background picture, select the table and go over to the shape fill menu and select picture. If you have a picture, you may browse and select it. Here, I'm going to search one from the internet. Let me select this one. Well, don't get disappointed. I will show you how to fix this. Open the format shape options. And down here, select the checkbox that says tile picture as texture. Now this is the desired background that I need. The picture that I selected is too bright to see the data. When this happens, you might want to increase the transparency level of the picture. That's a pretty table with background for you. Just like a background for your table, the slide can be made to look pretty with a slide background. To do that, head over to the design tab and select a background design. Within a click, you changed how the slide looks. Once you choose the design, you do have options to change the color themes within the chosen design. Here, you have many color choices to choose from. The same holds good even for the fonts used in the slides. Remember, this changes the fonts for your complete slide. To bring some action to your slide, don't just add backgrounds to the table or the slide, but try animating them. In this example, besides the table, I have added a big box for the background sky a couple of triangles for the grassland and few cloud images. I selected few basic animations for this to work. For the table and the grassland, I chose fly in from the bottom option and for the clouds, I chose the motion line from right to left. For the arrows behind the table, I chose fly in from the left. Another tip while we are here. PowerPoint has a feature that allows you to write formulas. In this example, to add the area of a circle, go to insert menu and select equation command. Here select the area of a circle. He also allows you to write your own formulas. To do that, 
from the equation menu select insert new equation this brings out a box where you can write with your mouse as you write he recognizes the characters including any special characters and displays it for you when you have a table with data that demands a live background why not bring it to life in this example i have a points table of a sports event to bring this to life i am going to add a live video background to do that go over to the insert menu and select video here select online video if you have a direct link to the video you can even provide a youtube video link here for this example i have a video with me so i am going to choose insert from this device i am going to select this video and click insert let me send this video behind the table to do that right click on the video and choose send to back command to make the text visible choose a text color that shows it bright for the selected video background when in presentation mode the video starts and brings life to your slide i hope you enjoyed this video do leave a thumbs up if you liked it for more such useful videos subscribe to designer by design see you in another video bye now